Hello, this session is on updating firmware using Ironic and Redfish in the data center and at the edge. My name is Chris Dearborn. I'm a senior principal software engineer and I work for Dell. And with me is David Patterson. How you doing? David Patterson. I'm a senior principal engineer with Dell. Uh, I've been working with OpenStack for uh, past six, seven years or so and primarily focused at the edge right now. And so I will touch on points where firmware update relates to the edge during this presentation. Okay, so in Victoria, firmware update now has a generic implementation in Ironic. Um, the implementation uses Redfish to communicate with the BMCs. So this means that it should work with any BMC that supports the Redfish simple update method. Uh, in, for testing, we tested this, of course, against Dell servers, um, a variety of models, the PowerEdge R640, XE2420, R6515, and also the R630XD. Um, we've tested updating firmware for the iDRAC, uh, the BIOS, um, Intel NICs, Perk H740P RAID controller, and power supplies. Uh, from the firmware update feature should work for all firmware updates that are available on support.dell.com. Uh, currently, the only supported image transfer protocols are HTTP and HTTPS by the BMC. Firmware images need to be placed manually on a web server that's accessible to the BMC through networking. Um, so this could be the Ironic Conductor web server. So we have a few different deployment scenarios. So this, this first one is uh, for, for the data center. So this shows Ironic with an independent web server. The firmware images are hosted on that web server. Uh, Ironic can communicate with the BMCs over the LAN in the data center. And again, the protocol is HTTP or HTTPS. The next deployment scenario, uh, we can see that the firmware images now are hosted directly on the Ironic web server. It's pretty much the only difference. But uh, as noted below, this assumes that the Ironic web server is listening on the BMC management network. So the firmware update functionality. Node must be in the manageable state in order to run the cleaning step. Uh, multiple firmware updates may be executed either as one cleaning step or separate cleaning steps. The updates are applied to the servers in sequentially in the order given. Um, the server is rebooted once per update. Uh, all devices that a firmware update applies to are updated at once, at least on Dell servers. So what this means is that if you have a server that has multiple identical NICs in it, that the firmware on those NICs will all be updated at the same time when you do one firmware update. A wait time in seconds may be specified for each firmware update. And this is primarily used when you're updating the firmware on the BMC. It causes the cleaning step to wait for the period of time that you specified to pull before declaring success and then either completing or proceeding with the next update. So this, this you would use when you're updating the firmware on the BMC. It allows the BMC time to come up before Ironic continues trying to use it. Uh, a couple more points. If you place a node into maintenance mode during a series of firmware updates, it will cause those updates to pause. Um, you can put the node into maintenance mode uh, using the command shown in the slide. Um, any firmware update that's currently in progress will continue to completion, and, and then the remaining firmware updates will be paused. Um, you can also take the node out of maintenance mode, and that will cause any pending firmware updates to resume. If a firmware update fails that's in a string of firmware updates, it will cause a cleaning step to immediately fail. And so this means that remaining firmware updates will not be applied to the node. So the first step in applying firmware updates is to download and stage firmware images to the web server that's accessible to the BMC. The next thing you need to do is create a JSON file containing the update firmware cleaning step that you want executed. 
the format of the cleaning step is, is shown there in the slide. So some things to note, the interface will always be set to management. The step will always be set to update underscore firmware. And then in the ARG section, you specify the list of firmware images that you want applied. Each firmware image, uh, it's required that you specify the URL to the firmware image that's hosted on the web server. And then you can optionally specify that wait time that we talked about before um, that causes the cleaning step to wait for a period of time before declaring success. Uh, so when you're doing firmware updates, you wanna be very careful because removing power from a server that it's in the process of doing firmware updates could result in devices in the server or the server itself becoming inoperable. So basically you can brick things by doing firmware updates. Uh, so you may want to um, check the weather, make sure there are no big storms coming your way before you kick off firmware updates. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and start up that cleaning step. Um, so you do that using the OpenStack bare metal node clean command. You pass it minus minus clean steps and then the name of your JSON file. So optionally, instead of specifying the name of the file on the command line, you could specify the blob of JSON if you want to. To monitor the progress of the firmware update, you can do an OpenStack bare metal node list. Uh, the node will initially transition to the cleaning state and then into the clean wait state. So we'll sit there in the clean wait state for a while while the firmware updates are running. Um, for maximum detail, you could always look in the ironic conductor log and in there you'll see redfish task get responses from the BMC that will contain uh, all of the detail that the BMC is reporting back. Uh, you can also log into the BMC GUI and view the job queue. And finally, you could always bring up the node virtual console and watch the firmware updates as they progress. If a failure does occur, you can get the error that occurred by doing an OpenStack bare metal node show with the UUID and grepping on last error. Uh, so now we're up to edge considerations. You wanna take this, Dave? Sure, I'd be happy to. The firmware update Chris is illustrating uh, can be done uh, to edge nodes. Uh, so you can run the update right over the WAN. Uh, the, the major caveat is that you have to have a DHCP relay in place at the edge site in order for uh, the I IPA image to boot up make a DHCP request to the core OpenStack deployment. So the relay forwards the DHCP request to the, um, the DHCP uh, instance running on the core OpenStack. Um, and then it will give an IP back to the node at the edge and things will proceed as normal. Another consideration when you're trying to do for, firmware updates uh, for edge nodes is a, I would highly recommend that you put your for, firmware images on a local uh, HTTP server. Um, that said, you could pull the images uh, all the way over from the core OpenStack, uh, but you're gonna have a lot of backhaul and it's gonna take longer. Uh, and plus, if you have any kind of network outage, um, you won't be able to get to the images. So I highly recommend you have some kind of web server inside your edge site to host the images. So I would like to revisit the, um, the topology uh, that we kind of skimmed over for edge just to illustrate what I, I talked about in these two slides. Chris, could you bring up the other graph? So here it illustrates uh, where the DHCP really would sit at your edge site. Um, so you talk to the BMC to get the server to start and tell it to boot from the IPA image. But when the server actually boots the IPA image, it's gonna fire a DHCP request. And this is where the relay comes into play. It would go to the relay, relay would forward it to OpenStack. Uh, it so happens to be default OpenStack, the, the DNS mass instance managed by Neutron is the actual uh, DHCP server. It'll marshal the request back to the relay and it will get to the server and everything else will work uh, just as Chris illustrated in the other two deployment scenarios. 
So some caveats. Um, there is no specific implementation for rolling back a firmware image. If you want to roll back a firmware image, then you basically update to whatever image it is that you want to. Um, so naturally rolling back then requires that the old firmware image be available on the web server. Um, one thing to note is that the ability to skip firmware versions while you're doing an update or rolling back is highly dependent on the capabilities of the firmware itself. Some, some firmware allows you to jump straight from one major version to another. Uh, others require you to walk through minor versions stepwise. Uh, with Dell servers, if you try to do a firmware update to a version of the firmware that's already installed, then this will cause the firmware to be reflashed or reinstalled uh, on the server. Um, how this behaves with other vendors may be different. So troubleshooting. Um, to find further error details other than the last error that we talked about before, you can look in the ironic conductor log and search for error from the bottom up. Um, you can look at the redfish, me redfish message that occurs just prior to the error. Uh, of course, so always look for a stack trace. Um, and it's worth noting that the log file locations for the ironic conductor log may vary based upon your OpenStack distribution. Um, when you're updating the firmware on the BMC, Loss of, connectivity, loss of connectivity to the BMC is normal and expected. So you'll see in the log that Ironic is unable to communicate with a BMC for a period of time. Um, so again, it's perfectly normal for this to happen. Uh, another thing that you can do to troubleshoot is to log into the BMC GUI and take a look at the job queue or the event log. You can also bring up the virtual console for the node and take a look at that and see what's going on. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, use a browser, curl, wget, or some other tool like that to validate the URLs for the firmware images that you're passing in in the JSON and make sure those are correct. Uh, so addressing clean step timeouts. So the timeout for one cleaning step uh, is limited. If you look in ironic.conf in the conductor stanza, there's a property called clean callback timeout, and that is defaulted to 30 minutes. So this limits you to a total of 30 minutes for executing uh, a, a whole series of firmware updates in a single cleaning step. To get around the 30 minute limitation, you can split your firmware updates into separate cleaning steps. So here's an example that shows uh, what could be the contents of your JSON file and two cleaning steps instead of one. So the first one updates the firmware on the BMC, does that 300 second wait, and then updates the firmware on the NICs. So finally, we have a demo for you. It demonstrates doing a firmware update on a Dell server, updating the IDRAC firmware and the Intel NIC firmware. Okay, so we're gonna show you, uh, you know, basically how the whole process works. We had a version of firmware, that's uh, the IDRAC firmware at 4.2.0. Uh, you can see here, we have a JSON uh, file that we're passing in with the two firmware update steps, one being for the NIC, one being for the IDRAC. As you can see, the node is in manageable state, so that means it's ready for a firmware update. And now we fire the uh, OpenStack bare metal clean, passing in the clean steps and you immediately go into clean weight. As you can see, uh, the IDRAC is starting up and it's going to uh, make a Pixie boot request. You'll get the IPA image. It will boot the IPA image and get an IP address. 
the node is powered off and you can see now that uh, the DRAC is downloading the firmware image and a new job uh, was created. The node's rebooting. Again, it will pixie boot from the IAPA image. Uh, and now the IDRAC is completely shut down. This is uh, sometime in the future. The IDRAC has come back up. You can see that the firmware has been updated to 422.00.00. So now it's going to do um, another update for uh, the network adapter, the Intel NIC. So currently you can see we're at uh, 19.0.12. You can see the old job the, for updating the iDRAC is complete and it's downloading the firmware for the network adapter. Now it's rebooting again. Again, you can see it booting into the IPA image. And so if this was an edge site, what would be happening is the DHCP request would go out to the DHCP relay, which would then forward the request to the uh, DHCP server instance running on in the core OpenStack environment. You can see the job running in both the console in the background there, and you can see it uh, in the IDRAC um, UI as well. Fast forwarding, so the job is 100% done and it turns off the machine. Now we can uh, take a look and look at the firmware at the, for the NIC adapter and we'll be able to see that it's updated. You can see we already pointed out 422 is on the iDRAC and the NIC adapter is now up to 19.5.12. If you do another, uh, bare metal show cleaning step, you can see that the JSON is now empty as we executed all of the cleaning steps. And that's it. So to finish up, we will talk a little bit about settings that affect firmware update in the ironic.com file. The first one is in the Redfish stanza, and it's called firmware update status interval. And this is the interval uh, in seconds between when the BMC is pulled for firmware update status. So it defaults to 60 seconds. If you set it to zero, it will completely disable this polling. Uh, the next one also in the Redfish stanza is firmware update fail interval. This is the interval in seconds between checking for failed firmware updates. This also defaults to 60 seconds. And again, you can set it to zero, which will completely disable it. Uh, this task cleans up temporary state that's on the node in Ironic and prepares the node for further use by Ironic. And then finally, there's in the conductor stanza, there's the clean callback timeout, which we talked a little bit about before. This is the amount of time that is allowed for a single cleaning step to run before timing out. Uh, it defaults to 1800 seconds or 30 minutes. Um, with this particular setting, if you change it to zero, then this equates to no timeout. For further information, you can take a look at the upstream documentation for both the Redfish and iDRAC hardware types. Uh, in addition, uh, you can look at the node cleaning documentation for Ironic. And then finally, there, you could look at the two DMTF documents, the Redfish specification and Redfish schema index. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.